Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to show you how to make proper English pouring custard, creme anglaise. So I made rhubarb crumble the other day and I was also going to show you how to make perfect pouring custard that's not curdled. However, it curdled. It always does when I make it. <laughs> I will show you that because it's a technique that you probably should know, even though it's not very reliable and needs a lot of time and concentration and skill. I'm also going to show you a more modern way to make custard that might actually be foolproof sous vide custard. And really, us Brits, we just call it custard, but um, there are many different kinds of custard. There are ones that are put for pouring, which is this one. It's technically a sauce. And there are ones that are set like in a trifloor, a creme brulee. Anyway, custard, wonderful stuff, so let's do it. Okay, ingredients for the custard. I've got 300 mils of milk, uh, about 50 mils of cream, double cream or single cream, the yolks of three eggs, 30 grams of caster sugar, a vanilla pod, and a teaspoon of corn flour or cornstarch. So we need to get the um, seeds out of the vanilla pod. You do that by cutting it down the middle and then scrape them out with uh, a knife. Now we need to heat up the milk and the cream until it's at simmering point. Don't overheat it because it'll curdle. Making custard fills me with terror. There's so many things can go wrong and they usually do but we keep on trying because we love it. And now we'll add the, the vanilla pod which we'll fish out later and the vanilla seeds. So while the milk is heating up we need to whisk together the the sugar and the egg yolks and the corn flour. Corn flour is a, a bit of a cheat but it does really help to stabilize the custard and <laughs> you need all the help you can get when you're making custard I think. Now we can maybe see there's beginning to be some motion on the top of the, the milk and cream and there's a bit of skin happening there so I think that is at the right temperature so I'll turn it off the heat. Now we need to well, fish out the vanilla pod. Don't throw that away you can you can wash that off and dry it and stick it in a jar of sugar to make vanilla flavoured sugar. Now the scary part is to add the milk to the eggs and hopefully not curdle the eggs. <laughs> So just a little bit at, at a time and whisk it in. Okay, that's all the milk in. Looking good so far. And what we do is put that back into the pan and we put it back on the stove to warm up and we keep stirring constantly until it thickens up. Okay, I can feel that starting to thicken up. If you stick a spoon in and it coats the back of the spoon, then that is, uh, that's the, what it should be. That's done. So we have achieved custard and we've managed not to curdle it. Okay, ingredients for the custard. I've got 120 mils of whole milk, 120 mils of double cream, heavy cream, three egg yolks, uh, 60 grams of white sugar and some vanilla extract vanilla essence or a whole vanilla pod if you've remembered to buy one. So first job is separate the eggs. I'll just pop the yolks into that and I'll just add the other ingredients, the cream, the milk, the sugar and some vanilla essence that much. <laughs> I can't be doing the things that say one drop or two drops. And um, we just give it a quick whiz. And now we need to get the sous vide machine ready. So I've got the Anova Precision Cooker TM in uh, a pan of hot water. Current temperature is uh, 65.89 and I want it to get up to 82 Celsius. So while we're waiting for the water to 
reach temperature. We've got a Ziploc bag and I'm just going to put the custard mix in there and zip it three quarters closed. So we're up to temperature and I'll just pop the bag in, make sure the air is squeezed out and seal it closed. And you need to make sure this doesn't get into the water because that does kind of ruin it. And we cook that for 20 minutes. So the custard is nearly cooked and I've got a bowl of iced water ready and waiting for it. Okay, the custard is now ready and the reason for the ice bath is we need this to cool down a little bit so that we can just massage it and that will stop any possibility of uh, curdling happening. So now I'm ready to use the custard. I'll just uh, open the bag and pour it into this little pan. And I'm just going to reheat that very gently so it doesn't curdle. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. That is proper uncurdled custard. I love it. Okay, I've got a bit of a, a chocolatey thing here. And I've got my wonderful custard. Mmm! So let's have a taste. Mmm. That custard is perfect. Amazing. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching. Come back soon.